Hello. Do you got the DJI H33D gimbal with the same problem like I do? Problem is in the bearings. In this video I will show you how to change the bearings and fix the gimbal for a few bucks. It's been a while since I fixed it, so I lost a lot of macro shots. I only got a GoPro material. I hope the process will still be seen. I got her H33D gimbal tools and new bearing dimension of 2x5x2.5 by by mm I buy from RC bearings. Let's start to disassembling the gimbal now. Start with remove the ribbon cable plastic protector. Then find another silver screw under the ribbon cable, but be careful to not damage them. The GoPro base now simply pull off the shaft. Next step is removing the pitch motor. There are three screws which hold the motor and circuit with encoder on its place. When remove all the screws, carefully remove the circuit and unplug ribbon cable. But that pitch motor is a bit different than Joel Roll, so we need to remove the shaft to the hex screwdriver to get under the circuit where we can unplug the ribbon cable. There is also some dirt which need to be cleaned before assembling. Now remove the roll motor and driver. There is 5 screws we need to remove. Carefully remove the ribbon cable which is glued on the pitch arm. With the hex screwdriver remove the pitch arm from the roll motor shaft. There is enough if just untighten the screw. Then open the driver and unplug the cable from circuit. Now again remove the 5 screw to remove the jaw motor and driver. Untie the hex screw which hold the roll arm on jaw motor shaft. Open the driver and again unplug the cable. We got now rough disassembled gimbal. First I will remove the three bigger bearings which hold the shaft on its place. It's pretty easy to get it out. These three bearings is in a good condition, so I just clean them with the solution and compressed air, then apply a bit of grease and oil in it and put the rubber seal back on. Now disassemble the pitch motor. Lose another three screw to remove the motor from the holder and disconnect the motor ribbon cable from driver. Then simply pull the rotor with the shaft from stator. Old bearing is easy to remove. Simply punch it out of stator and be careful to not damage it. Just look the accuracy of old bearing. Take new bearing and punch it back on its place. I use an aluminium stick which is the same dimension as outer size of bearing. Repeat the same process on the other side of stator. There you must be careful to not damage the coils. I put the right dimension piece under the motor so the punch force don't transform the coils. Before assembling the motor clean the stator and rotor with a towel and compress there. Put rotor with the shaft on stator and screw motor back on its holder. And don't forget connect the motor cable on driver. Now start to disassemble the roll motor, which is a bit different than a pitch motor. Just like on pitch motor, disconnect the cable from driver and lose 3 screws. 
but the shaft of roll and jaw motor is bigger than a pitch motor, so you must punch the axis out of rotor. I use a bit of heat there to lose the thread lock, but be careful there, if you use too much heat, you can damage the magnets and you're done with it. After a bit heating, punch the shaft out of the rotor. There on shaft is a washer, be careful to not lose it. Then repeat the process of changing the bearings. On this clip I use soft wood balsa to prevent damage on coils. Clean it then put shaft with the washer on stator. Then simply punch shaft back on the rotor. Use some soft material like wood to not damage the shaft. If the axe is punched too much on the rotor it will not turning, so punch it a bit back to get just a bit of free space. The washer on the axis must turning freely. Then again, put the motor on holder, screw it and connect the cable. The magnetized screwdriver is a big help with these little screws. Then change the bearings also on jaw motor. The process is totally the same as on roll motor. Now start to assembling the gimbal. First put the big bearing back to its place. Also use right diameter aluminium stick to not damage the bearing. Then assembling counterwise as you disassembling. Connect the jaw driver to ribbon cable, install the roll arm and screw it all together. Hex screw each hold arm to a shaft tight really well. You can also use a bit of thread lock on this screw. Now assembling the roll, install the big bearing into an arm, connect the driver to cable and again screw it all together. There on pitch motor is another fault. The shaft is tinier than on other motors, so there is a piece of plastic on shaft to turning the encoder. But I got some free space on between the plastic and the encoder, so I put a piece of paper between to lose the free space. Screw the motor on holder, connect the cable, then install the paper if necessary and install the bigger shaft on. Now all together assemble the gimbal. Screw the GoPro base back on shaft, but be careful with the ribbon cable there. Push the ribbon to a holder to stick it back to its place. Finally install the ribbon cable protector back and install the damper and holder. The gimbal is now ready to test. It works without any noise, but it still can't handle the GoPro 4 with the filter on. So I must make additional counterweight out of aluminium. I also make another screw, so you don't need a screwdriver to remove the GoPro. That's it. 
I'm happy with the result. Gimbal now works perfect without any noise or vibration. I hope to help someone with this problem to fix its gimbal. That's it for today. Like, share and subscribe if you like and see you next time.